Good afternoon, this is Dave Nicosia, Warning Coordination Meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. This is a briefing on the ongoing winter storm of December 9th, 10th, 2014. It covers our service area of central New York and northeast Pennsylvania, as you can see on the map. Some of the impacts, we've had very dangerous travel conditions already uh, along Interstate 81 in central New York, north of the Binghamton area, up towards Syracuse, and along the New, New York State Thruway in the Syracuse area. This is a long duration snowstorm, and it's continuing for the rest of the day today and into tonight. The heaviest snow has been in north central New York. The highest amounts have been over the higher elevations. There's been much less snow in the valleys. In northeast Pennsylvania, northwest to the Elmira Corning area, we've seen a lot less snowfall. There has been major impact to travel, especially in the winter storm warning areas. Uh, nuisance impacts have been observed in the winter weather advisory areas. Slippery roads are still possible there. The winds have picked up from the northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts to 30 miles an hour. This is causing significant blowing and drifting snow as the snow continues into tonight. So that's another impact that we are expecting into tonight. So the snow that's falling today will be blowing around a lot tonight. Here are the latest winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings as of late morning Wednesday. In pink we have winter storm warnings where we expect the most dangerous winter conditions and in the purple we have winter weather advisories where we have nuisance uh, events or nuisance conditions. Uh, these winter weather advisories are in effect for a few inches of snow and roads that could be slippery in spots. So if proper precautions are not taking in the advisory area, it could become dangerous. This is the estimated total snowfall as, as of late this morning. Uh, you can see places southeast of Syracuse and northwest of Hamilton, New York, have picked up anywhere from 12 to 18 inches of snow. But further north, up to the Utica, Rome area, less than an inch of snow has fallen. And likewise, along the southern tier in a, in a large part of northeast Pennsylvania, less than an inch of snow has fallen as of late morning. Now, snow continues to fall in areas, so these amounts continue to increase. At midday, the focus of the heavy snow now extends roughly from the Finger Lakes southeastward to the Binghamton and Montrose area. The snow has diminished some compared to what we were dealing with earlier today in the Syracuse region. If we look at radar, you can see that there is moderate to occasionally heavy snow from Geneva and almost Ithaca southeastward to the Binghamton area and into northeast Pennsylvania. Also note north of Albany that another batch of snow is beginning to develop and work towards the west back towards northern New York in areas that were hit earlier today. And this is related to a upper level storm system that is stalled over the lower Hudson Valley. As you can see this is a map depicting the atmospheric pressure at about 10,000 feet above ground level and it is showing an upper level storm centered near New York City. The green indicates areas of deep moisture and potentially moderate to heavy snowfall and this is as of 1 o'clock this afternoon Wednesday. If we go forward in time to early evening you'll see that the low pressure center pretty much has stalled over the lower Hudson Valley, New York City area. And then by the time we get to 1 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, you can see the low has tracked slowly up the Hudson Valley. And notice how most of New York and, and eastern Pennsylvania is under significant amounts of moisture. And we're expecting significant snows to continue falling in a lot of these areas because of this very slow moving upper, upper level storm. By Thursday morning, the storm then begins to weaken and the precipitation
begins to taper off. So you can see later this afternoon and evening we are expecting heavier snow across a large part of central New York uh, with lighter snows in northeast PA to the Elmira Corning and Bath areas. Tonight the snow shifts a little further west but still affects much of our warning area and then tapers off. And here's our final storm total snowfall forecast as of 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and you'll see a lot of areas are expecting up to two feet of snow in the higher terrain in uh, Madison and Cortland and southern Onondaga counties and even parts of Delaware counties whereas in our valley locations you can see there are many valley locations here that are going to expect four to five inches of snow so there's a lot of variation in the snowfall based on your elevation but those traveling along Interstate 81 along the thruway and even Interstate 88 uh, we'll see significant travel issues, especially later today and tonight. You can continuously monitor the weather by going to our website at weather.gov slash BGM or if you on your cell phone, mobile.weather.gov. And you can always visit us on Facebook or Twitter.